It's 5.45 a.m. on Sunday, December 22nd, 2019. And um, I'm here in the hallway because, you know, my life is in danger and I'm trying to get help, basically. Okay, so um, through my dreams, I mentioned these in another video, but yesterday, um, there was this thing where I'm thinking about the Grenfell Tower and I see A like in a cloud. So this is like maybe the third time I think that there's been these sort of references to Grenfell coming to me linked to the idea of clouds or s some sort of manufactured clouds. I think what, I mean, and also the paper, also the idea of paper, paper mache. So um, definitely getting stuff sent to me saying that uh, there was machinations behind this building. What it looks like to me is that it's both in the flammable materials around the building and manipulations done outside of the building. So maybe that somebody set that fire under the influence of mind control or whatever it was that had started that fire. Next, I see an image of an umbrella, a red umbrella with blue fringe, and I feel like it's linked to Trinidad, or Trinidad Head in some way. I'm getting all these hints that tr there's some sort of link between Texas and Trinidad, or Trinidad Head. And that might be through Mike Payne, maybe through his dad, or maybe through something else. It might be through my aunt. It seems like my aunt has some kind of link to Texas that I don't know where that comes from. My Aunt Marge. But I don't think, I feel like it's Mike Payne. Last night, I know that I got a lot of stuff sent to me that got erased and um, I'm being attacked through my this dental work. So um, I know my life's in danger. I know I need to deal with this right away. I know that I need to not be, you know, I, it's really important to me to live. I don't want to be killed. I've got the stuff to live for, whether other people think so or not. And it's not fair. I mean, come on. And it's not legal. And do you really want the United States to start, like, allowing... I mean, it's already... I understand it's already happening, and that's the other part of this, is that, um, you know, do you want the United States to allow the FBI either to go around assassinating people or to allow people to be assassinated by other criminal groups? Um... And I think most American citizens would probably not, like, be prepared for that to happen. I mean, if you really understood what that meant, which is basically it's Nazi Germany. We're, we've got this, you know, SS. Um, and I think that if that's what's going on, and it sounds like that's what's going on, that, you know, I deserve more protection than that. I think I do deserve military intervention, like, on my behalf, and my dream's not being erased. And... Um, I wish that I could make this argument more eloquently, but I don't have, even have access to counsel. So I don't have somebody to make this argument for me, and I have to make it while I'm being attacked and while I'm being terrorized. And the other thing is, you know, I would have been really happy to fly under the radar of people like, you know, certain foreign leaders that know who I am and that are making references and jokes about getting me. You know, certain foreign leaders that have already, you know, known history of assassinations and things like that. I wasn't, I just wanted to be an artist. I really wanted to be an artist and a musician, okay? And it looks like nobody's ever, ever, ever going to give me that chance, you know, maybe in the next life. But it doesn't mean I have other th don't have other things to live for in my life. It doesn't mean that other people don't care about me like my daughter, and I understand that there's also a, a plan to get rid of my daughter. Um, and I just can't accept it. I couldn't, I wish that other people wouldn't accept it. And if they are accepting it, you know, they think I'm that bad, that I just need to be assassinated, I'd like to know why they think that, because I'm actually a really good person, and so somebody's really been libeling me, if that's what they think.
So I had all these dreams that got erased. I tried to draw this one and I didn't do a good job. It was an idea of a blue heart and like this purple blue claw kind of grabbing over the blue heart. It wasn't a, the color of blue was like a bright, you know, um, maybe it was like a lighter than royal blue, not light, light blue, like sky blue, but a little bit darker. And then there's this dark purple hand kind of grabbing over it. Then I got the image of this crown and that's definitely the, related to the tooth crown. Um, this I don't quite, I don't remember writing the rest, or at least not this. Listening to stuff, birds, it looks like birds and teenager talking about other birds, birds from China. Sense of electrical shocks to my head being linked to Nebraska. I don't know anyone in Nebraska. I've never been to Nebraska. I don't know what that means exactly, but obviously Lady Gaga has that song called Nebraska, and um, it's a lot, got a lot of extremely disturbing imagery in it. <laughs> um, like, you know, the woman at the intersection, I believe, is intended to look like a, a burning building. And in fact, if you, you know, this Nebraska came out seven years before Grenfell Tower, but if you look at her outfit and you put her next to the images of Grenfell Tower, you can see a lot of, what, that's what exactly what it looks like. Her hat, you know, which has the netting over, which represents implants, looks like smoke coming up. And her hair is black on top and blonde on the bottom, so it looks like flames in a burning building, like a burning high rise specifically. Uh, 5.15 a.m. I kept getting attacks through or dreams of attacks through all my fillings linked to number three and therefore I think to the FBI. Dreams kept getting wiped. I feel there was an umbrella or umbrellas at one point. So maybe what that shows me is that this idea of um, allowing me to be harmed and even killed is, you know, a cover for these people in the past ongoing things that they're involved in. But see, the thing is that I'm not a criminal. So it's like by allowing a criminal system to take over all, all these parts of the government, then people who are not criminals are going to be the ones that are harmed and killed. And it's not just me. The, my daughter says that her father's in medical trouble right now. Um, so there's been several people in my, that are around me who've been in the hospital last year with like life-threatening emergencies. My dad, Chris, um, you know, Roz, Rezebeck, um, he's put it on Facebook, so I think you probably won't mind me mentioning it. And others, David Walker, I just saw, you know, another guy from the Portland scene who's about my age, it said that he had almost died in the hospital last year. Um, and um, my daughter's had various medical issues that I think are implant-based. Um, so I told, I got warnings about my, you know, all this stuff a year ago, more than a year ago. And I tried to actually tell those people, like my daughter's father, but they seem to be stuck into where they're at. Like they can't help me or won't help me. And so if, you know, I'm getting this idea that the FBI is protecting them, but that's not true either because they're being harmed by this, you know. So it doesn't sound like that's what's going on at all. The FBI might protect, be protecting them in terms of the crimes, like they're protecting them from accountability from from crime that you know the FBI has been involved with but um, they're not protecting their lives from the system because the system is going unchecked and this you know it's not that kind of system it's a completely um, you know some I don't know what kind of I'm not really familiar with all the crime systems that are going on out there I'm not familiar with how crime families work or organized crime or any of that, because this has not ever been my life. This has never been the way I wanted to live. This is not the one I would want to be around. 
you know, and I really, like I said, would have preferred to fly under the radar of world leaders that are dangerous. But that wasn't, that wasn't the, not a choice I was allowed to have. Somebody else made that choice for me. Um, so it's not just about me, and this is definitely not a national security issue. I mean, you know, you can only say that as much as covering your ass and, you know, a crime syndicate is a national security issue, and, and it's not. It's actually a national security issue that this crime syndicate is, has, is going on. And just because this crime syndicate is a, a permitted to operate in other countries doesn't make it okay. In fact, it makes it even more dangerous because now it's not even like, it's not even attached to any country or anything, like any kind of law. Now they're making the laws. But, you know, that's all intellectual. I just know, I know what the law says for me as an American citizen, and it says that this, this, none of this is supposed to be happening. And there's supposed to be checks and balances, and the reason there aren't checks and balances is because the crime syndicate has been allowed to take over all of the government. Or at least enough of the government so that nobody, you know, nobody's helping me. Even though, you know, it's well within their rights to help me. And it's well within my rights to not be protected from these kinds of crimes. And I just, I can't even imagine how, like, it just seems like organization that is as powerful as the FBI could figure out how to keep themselves from being held accountable if that's what's so important and still protect me and other people. But I don't think that maybe they think that's their job. I don't know what they think their job is. Maybe it's protecting finance. But we need somebody to protect the American people. It's not going to be the police because the police are completely swallowed up by this. Um, so maybe the FBI is completely swallowed up by this. Is our military completely swallowed up? Is, is our whole country completely swallowed up by this crime syndicate? Then, if that's the case, I think there needs to be like a massive fucking revolution. I mean, I don't think I have time for a revolution myself. I need to be protected. But, um... I need help. They, they're they literally marching me like into a fucking grave right now. That, that, that my dentist could do this to me just absolutely I, it flummoxed me. It's like being marched into um, an assassination in the United States of America as an American citizen having done absolutely nothing wrong simply because they want to, you know, continue a crime and this crime is affecting other people. Other people are getting killed a lot. Not just a little bit, a lot. This morning, I keep waking up with a, more stuff in my head about other people. So I'm just going to keep talking about other people who have been harmed by this, I guess. I need help. I need help. I need help. I need help. I'm not going to have, you know, I'm trying to like have a semi-pleasant Christmas. Well, I don't have Christmas. There's no Christmas around here. It's like trying to get the hell out of this. Help us. This is not a situation that we created. Other people created it. But yet, how do, you, how do we get out? 